Another soccer season has come to a close for the women of Georgia Tech, as the snows of winter have replaced the color of autumn. What was accomplished on the Rose Stamps field is nothing more than a memory now, but that memory will last, no matter how many more winters arrive. The Jackets would go on to win 10 games. They would shut out their first eight opponents. And the final goal differential was an amazing 46 goals for Tech and only 10 for their opponents. And they would also advance to the Southeast Collegiate Soccer Alliance Regional Tournament, which would validate this team as one of the best in the South. But it wasn't the wins and losses that were the story of these women. What they loved more than winning was the simple joy of playing the game. Those with passion forget that they are competing. They just love to play. And that was evident as these women played through bruises, sprains, sore muscles, and some injuries that were even more severe. Call it love, and so it is. For me, it's just straightforward. It's the love of the game. I, I didn't play soccer my freshman year in college, and I just didn't know what to do with myself. Uh, I love soccer so much, and getting to play it is worth those sacrifices. At the end of high school, I was really sick of soccer because we played so much. Um, we would pretty much given our all that entire season, so I didn't want to have anything to do with it. Um, then when I came to Georgia Tech, I had missed it. So I now know that I cannot go more than one semester without soccer, so it will always be a part of my time at Tech. So I've been playing for probably about 13 years now. Um, I, I've, I absolutely love it. I could not imagine not playing it. So. Like over the years, I've seen a lot of friends get burnt out and be like, yeah, I don't want to play anymore. I've just had too much or whatever. Um, that never has happened to me yet, and I don't think it ever will. Unfortunately, hovering over each of them was the foggy reality that one day they would have to walk off the soccer field for the final time. When you are passionate about something that you've done for the majority of your life, it does become difficult to let go. With their future of being a soccer player clouded, many of the women talked about what those last days might be like. I have no idea. I'm just trying not to think about it, to be perfectly honest, because every time I think about stepping off the field for the last time, it kind of blows my mind a little bit since I have been playing pretty much since I could walk. Um, I'm going to miss this team more than anything, I think. They um, have made such an impact on my life and I think that I have made a pretty big impact on this club as well. So I think when it finally hits, when the realization finally gets to me that this is the last time I get to play, this is the last time I'm going to be putting on this jersey, the last time I'm going to be stepping on this field, it's potentially the last time I'm going to be playing a real competitive soccer game, potentially for the rest of my life. I think that's really going to be very overwhelming. And the plus side is that I get I can have my team around me. I get to look around and see that the team is left in very good hands and that they will continue doing incredible things even long after I'm gone. Uh, I don't want to think about that. <laughs> um, I think that the girls here have really made an impact on me and they've become a lot of my close friends. And um, every semester, if we lose new girls or like gain new girls, like it doesn't matter, like you've just being on the team with them for one semester, like you become really close with them and having to leave them is really, really sad. And I hope that I'm proud when I walk off the field. I hope that I feel like I've done my best and given as much to the team as I possibly can. But I don't know, I feel like mostly I'm just going to be sad that it's over because that'll probably be my, I mean, other if I play in like an adult league, that'll be like my last soccer game ever. And coming from starting when I was like four or five, that's just, it's like almost 20 years of playing and then it's just over, like that's going to be crazy. <laughs> oh, definitely, definitely sad. Um, I just love this team so much. Everyone is great, um, great person and a great player. Um, so I'm going to miss everyone. I'm probably going to try to come to some games after I graduate. So the next time you see a group of athletes playing with their hearts, knowing that there won't be any glory, not much recognition, 
or a future past the last game. Take a minute to salute their spirit. For it is in their spirit and the example of the gifts we all have been given, we all can find our passion. One day, we all will walk off the field for the final time, knowing what we are passionate about will have come to an end. Let that day not be one of icy regret for what might have been, but instead, have it be one of many warm memories of what has been accomplished.